We knew that was the entrance. The air is foul here. The Belpeggy Swamp Lands, home to lizardmen and other vital creatures of the old world. Yeah, can you track Israfel through here? The tracks here are of lizard kind, that I can sense his presence. He is so here somewhere. There is no there is evil to the north of our position. Make haste. Be worried, or there is more to the swamp land and lizardmen. What else will we face here? The Muscipula. It's a carnivorous plant six feet tall and has a nasty breath attack. Could be the source of the spell stench in the air. That is, it's kind of hard to see which uh, which parts of the world map will lead to a dungeon. I had to t do an educated guess there, because there was a beach and such. Okay. Now we need to explore. Good thing I have my traveler's cloak. Bunch of lizard men too. Your Q senses knows the trap again. Camp of enemies over there. Sovereign's finest. Okay, no avoiding this one, even with Traveler's Cloak. Look what enters our swamp! Humans! Tasty humans! We mean you no harm. We are searching for a man who came this way. No humans here but you. Kill these intruders. How did Israfel avoid a fight with them? Forgot what they were weak to. Freeze? Yeah, the archer is definitely the most annoying one. That's why I kill it first. Alchemy. Yes, you will pay for this, humans! They're still everywhere. What the? The lizard man is heading northwest. We should stop him before he returns with reinforcements. There's no time limit, is there? Because I want to, well, explore the place and get more items. Whatever, let's go with it. A village. Another trap. That's a lot of traps. Diamond. Looks like I won't be able to They're just blocking the way up there anyways, so... Excuse me there, lizard man. I need to grab some chests. Heavy lever. Hmm. 
Oh shoot, the event triggered right on this spot. What? Whoops. You're a fool to follow me here. No warm bloods are welcome here. Kill the humans. That, that was a huge oversight, I feel like, since you could walk around it. I had to sack a lot of buff foods just to counter the actless guy's BS uh, buffing spam at the beginning, so... Yeah, it's gotta fight fire with fire here. It's the only way. Ah. Okay, that takes care of most uh, two of them. Slow you down so you can't issue as many orders. Kill the archer. Still issuing orders. I used up both of my rings of purpose just for this one. Just because of the enemy's uh, spam. Okay. Let's see if there's anything worth stealing from this dude. I hope he doesn't resummon his allies. My peoples! Die, humans! Oh, he powers up and all his stats went up! Even his luck went up! Oh shoot, should I have killed him first? This is not good. You need to... I can't get rid of that many. I don't have all that trace of skills. Damn, I didn't even think it was possible. Oh no. Damn it, should I, I should have left it one or two of them alive. That would have been the smart choice. Okay, good. I still have a chance. Brain Bash has one-shot capabilities? Shit. Okay, that gives me a slight advantage. How does wake- how much does wake up heal? Is it- Really minor? It's not bad, I guess. It's about half your hit points, give or take. I've debuffed you as much as I could. I need to sneak attack. Yeah, so now that I have a speed and I have a speed advantage again, I should be able to withstand this situation. I hope. Dang it! This guy's definitely on Israfel's side. Otherwise, he might have been able to stand a chance. Assuming Israfel isn't stronger than as as Azrael. Ah. There. Yes, people... I heard, I heard some people complaining about this fight and how bad it was. Oh, yeah. What's this thing? My run's hammer. It cannot be. What is it, Brugger? It's my father's axe. Lost so, so long ago. This be the axe Olgar Shinestone used to beat back the drowned ogre from Frosthammer. How can you be sh sure, Brugger? 
Look here, there's an inscription of Clan Shinestone. I'm sure your father would rest easy knowing his axe found its way back to you. Go ahead, Burger, pick it up. Silver Spark, a green weapon. Father! Brugger, listen to me carefully. I always knew this day would come. Father, how can this be? While tr trudging through the darkness of our ancient homeland, Urbor Dun, I came upon Silver Spark, the heirloom of the Shinestone Dynasty. I couldn't believe that it was I who found the axe which could unite our people. Alas, it was not intended for me. A woman came to me, she couldn't be tantalizing herself. She told me that axe was to serve another, my son Brugger. She said that if I were to bring the axe back to the people of Frosthammer, it would be taken by the tainted hearts of the corrupt fanes and used for evil. So I ran. I took you and I ran south. I'm sorry that you were forced to live apart from your people, and that your life has been so hard ever since. Do your soul get attached to the axe somehow? Brugger, you are the reborn soul of Olgar Shinestone. You alone can unite the clans. Do not allow my life to have been lost in vain. You must return to your ancient home of Frosthammer and set things right. It is up to you now, my son. Father, wait! Don't go! Bunch of biographies changed there. Damn, that was a painful battle. Good thing I bought a bunch of buff foods before leaving. I wonder if these houses have any more items. Can I even enter them? What's this ring of courage anyways? What kind of status is a guard against? Protect from fear. I don't think I've made any of those yet. Can't go inside. Oh, there's another trap that I missed somehow. Yeah, you can avoid all the traps by going off the beaten path. Still, I might want to return and restock on my items before continuing. If that guy was able to kick my ass like that, I'm pretty sure the next boss would be able to do the same. Hmm. Okay, let's go back here. Apparently the lizard man battle was both optional and balanced for level 35. Which explains why it seems so, like such a big jump in difficulty. Any more traps? No. Now I wanted to just go straight to, uh, uh, to this cave area first. I can sense this Ravel is very near, just up ahead. Oh boy. I really hope they give me a great Gaius book to indicate where I should stop. Yeah, this game doesn't always give you great Gaius books right before bosses. So it's kind of hard to tell when they're going to show up. Your, only, your best bet is to just save as often as possible and hope for the best. Hope you don't get caught off guard. That is that Center Island where he's at? I don't see him. Well, if I see a cave, that might be it. But why is that Center Island so strangely empty? So the North actually does go somewhere important. Okay, that cave, that's a good... Ch he set a trap? Oh, oh shit. Okay, this time I succeeded and got Poison Vial. Also, what's that hidden in the tree? Some gold. That was not listed in the guide, but it's possible that some of these rewards are randomized, so who knows. Okay, Bountiful Herb. Before entering that cave, I should probably go eat some buff foods. Another advantage of the Traveler's Cloak is that you can set up your buff foods early without having to ro worry about random encounters ruining everything. 
I'm all nice and buffed up. If he's stronger than those lizard men, I want to. I want these kind of buffs. So I'm gonna have some nasty status effects as well. The the biography says he's a speed-based enemy, but that just means he's gonna spam status effects using his amazing speed. Oh, there is a book. Um, why is it so dark? I feel like he's still gonna use the darkness to ambush me with his stealth skills. He's like an evil ninja. Elixir. Why is he at a campfire? I thought he'd be using the shadows to his advantage here. That is so weird. That's what I would do if I were a speed-based opponent. Strike before the enemy notices. So the Children of Light managed to cheat death once again. Give us the keystone, this Rafael. I would admire your brazenness if it weren't attributed to utter foolishness. You will not have the keystone, and you will not leave this cave alive. We have defeated your kind before, this Rafael. Most recently, Azrael, the so-called harbinger of death. He fell before a righteous might just as you will. Now hand over the keystone or be destroyed. You may have bested Azrael, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Let me guess, poison. What kind of cheats are you going to use? Oh. He has instant death. Shoot, that's bad. Only Wine and Atreus seem to have any re uh, have any way to resist those, so they're they're on revive duty. Damn, he's also fast. Uh, his base speed is also faster than Atreus. If only we had pots with us. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. Or trees immune to assassination or something, but even then, he hits really hard. Damn. I feel like he's purposely going for the people who... Ugh. Please, hamstring. Please, please, please. Yes, I hamstringed him. That way I'll have some room to revive. I have to select an ally to protect. That's useless against AoEs, got it. Really? Okay, I can suplex him now. He's not gaining it much AP, huh? Ooh, nice! And I stunned him, too! That'll buy me some time. I mean, he'll probably fall off really quickly because of his speed, but... Better than nothing. Hmm, art stun only lasts for one turn, but enemy stun seem to last forever. Okay, if he's stunned, he can't dodge this. You are boned, unless you hit one of my unprotected members with your instant death thing. Hmm, he also seems to be a bit of a glass cannon. Since the, uh, uh, since he was, he's actually weak to slash moves.
keep up the DPS before my buffs run out. If my buffs run out, I'm pretty much screwed. I have no way to really recast them. Ha! I am immune to that shit! And dead! Give me all your gold! 4k! No, I refuse to be defeated! I will not fail the Dark Lord! You haven't seen the last of me, Children of Light! What? He escaped! Damn it, of course, he's a speed type, of course he's gonna escape and live another day! I will follow him to the ends of the earth if it means fighting Blackheart! In his haste, it seems to be forgotten the keystone piece that was stolen from Lorak Galadrius. We've brought, uh, brought, brought, we've brought ourselves some time. Without all the keystones, Zacharyl will not be able to perform his ritual to summon Malviticus. I say we take the bell to Zacharyl and end this once and for all. Why? I have, a, I have to wonder, why didn't they have Eldrum as key, uh, watch over the keystone? You think instead of giving it to a weaker Goth? Because it sounds like Eldrum is supposed to be the strongest of the Goth. Or, no, he, no he's not a Goth, but... More of a regular human who got mutated into some armored freak. We not fare well during our last encounter with him. And without Laney Potts or Tess or Potts or Tess will be all the more daunting. Yeah, seriously, those two are OP. We should seek out Hero. Seems like he would be a powerful ally to have at our side when we penetrate Zacharyl's fortress. Penetrate. <laughs> Ered Munlo. Come on, there's much. There's much. Still, much to still do. The Executor. Uh, were you like an Urhun? Are you? Uh, yeah, keep him coming. Aw, oh, shit. What's the matter? Having a bad day? You could say that. What's the matter, hmm? Well, I was forced to watch it helplessly as the woman I love was violently murdered, and they lost the one thing that could save the world from the re resurrection of the evil god Melviticus. The worst part of it, no, uh, of it is knowing every failure, every tragedy that's transpired has been my fault. The result of a lifetime of poor decision making. Well, you know what I always say: there's no use crying over spilled milk. Here, have another one on the house. Th that should cheer you up. Wait, is he drinking milk or alcohol? Thanks. Do you remember the story about the infamous Vandor Rowan? What about Vandor Rowan? He was loyal to Veldis for a long time before he cleaned up his act. But eventually, he did see the error of his ways, and that's when he, uh, when he, after his spiritual uh, spiritual cleansing, began fighting against Velidus. What did you say? His spiritual cleansing? I've never heard that part of the story. I was always taught that Vandar turned against Valdis and fought for Arthur Graham in the Great War. Is that not correct? No, I've heard the same, but this is the first I've heard mention of his spiritual cleansing. Well, I don't know. The Grand Historian of the Grand Arcanum would know much more about it than I. If, if that kind of thing interests you, why not try asking him? Yes, I think I will. Thank you. And I'm stuck with only you and the party. Shoot, I gotta re-unequip everyone, don't I? I gotta do a separate save. Well, at least I had enough lever gear. Okay, so... Journal says, Making of a hero. Visit the Grand Arcanum. Okay, I'm at the library, so I need to ask the librarian. Welcome to the Grand Arcanum. I hope you find whatever it is that you seek. I was wondering if you could tell me about Vandar Rowan, specifically about the spiritual cleansing that he embarked on, which helped him turn the tide during the War of Destruction. Oh, you speak of his journey to Gar Amal, the highest peak of the Gorgoth Mountains. Legend s says... Vandar Rowan had done terrible things during his time with the Validians, so terrible that even his closest comrades wouldn't look him in the eye. Even after he escaped Valdis and returned to become a part of Arthur's Rebellion, he could not bear the thought of the terrible acts he had committed. So he ventured through Gorgoth Mountains alone, burying the darkness within his heart. Hey, isn't that the flower that Laney uh, used to learn holy? He knew that if he did not rid himself of the shame, the guilt, and the fear that tormented him, he would fail in his endeavors. Not knowing why, but feeling compelled, he climbed that mountain to his highest peak. Some say he planned to hurl himself from its precipice. At the peak of Garamal, he discovered a blue rose. It said the goddess Tantalasia placed it there, and when he approached it... Something remarkable happened. His soul diverged. Vandor stood staring at disbelief at the hideous specter of his evil self incarnate. 
And atop the peak of Gar Amal, he did battle with his own dark side. Unfortunately, I cannot use the, uh, the great guys right now to unequip everyone, so I won't be able to use my best stuff. When the battle was over, only one was left, st left standing. Vandar smote his enemy upon the mountaintop, and doing so, rejuvenated his soul. Afterward, he returned to his friends and to the war with a newfound vigor. He wanted to become the greatest strategist of his time, and in the end, won the war alongside Arthur Graham. That's- why don't they teach that one uh, 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 in, uh, in school, though? It sounds like the uh, this is not as common knowledge as the other parts of the legend. I guess it's because they don't want- the, 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 I guess it's because the idea of flawless heroes sells better. That is as much as I, is known on the subject of Vandar Rowan and his experience upon Gara Mall. I have one last question for you. How does one get to Gara Mall? The path to Gara Mall is a perilous one, which lies to the north of Astral, a small village north of Sorbithia. There's a mountain pass which leads to the Frosthammer, the land of the dwarves. If you continue past Frosthammer, you'll be able to reach Gar Amal. Thank you, Grand Historian. Okay, so... Ms. Potts, is that you? Griswold, what if you try to use a different exit? Would it still trigger? Probably. Uh, there's no way they would forget, right? Potts, what are you doing here? Where are the others? Have you brought the keystones? Griswold, I... Well, what is it? Out of it, boy. What has happened? Potts explained to Griswold all that has transpired since they left Sorbithia so long ago. He explained about Eldrifin and the elves and the tragic death of Elenia. Potts, I'm so sorry for what has happened to Elenia. Griswold, it was my fault. I should have protected her. No, Potts. Elenia understood the importance of the quest for the keystones, and she knew the risk. It's not your fault she died. It's the fault of the Dark Lord Eldramus Blackheart, the betrayer. Potts, it's not ours to determine the fate of the world. No man can do that. It's ours, ours is simply the journey itself. I know where my journey leads to next, Gr Griswold. I'm going to the peak of Garamal. There I will cleanse my soul just as Vandar Rowan did before me. In that case, I will accompany you. You are most welcome to join me, though I expect it won't be easy. Damas he already has all the Damascus stuff. Though I should probably give him the Rod of Armin for now. Give him Tarnished Helm. Clockwork. Zircon. Quick shoes, because you are slow as hell. Seriously. Should I give him... Maybe I should just give him pure magic gear instead of the tank gear, huh? Hmm. Oh, shoot, he's hanging there automatically. I have no control over this, how everything plays out. This might be to, uh, to prevent me from getting the other ends to use the book. Since they know, uh, since they know it would be very annoying to have to program every int to not have a book. Instead, they just choose to reprogram the only ints we can access in this time. Yes. Railroading. Hopefully the enemies aren't too strong considering I only have two party members. Also, Griswold is level 30, which implies that, yeah, the last boss battle was balanced for level 30. Seems we might it might not be that easy to get in there. Hmm, there are different people inside this this smith shop. A master rum's apprentice. The steel sings when my hammer hits. Ha! Huh. Don't have an. I already did some decent upgrading a, a while before the Israfel fight. Getting the holy sword would require a lot of really expensive stuff, huh? But, and I, there's no way I could afford it. Look at that. It's way more expensive than even the uh, uh, the, st the normal store items. So, obviously I'm not supposed to get it yet. Maybe I'll wait until the next time the store, re uh, the store upgrades their stock. By order of King Oswald Graham the 14th, the path of U Ubor Jal is off limits to everyone. What's our plan? These guards are blocking the path. We have to find our way through. So it seems. 
Excuse me. Who, who is that? You you were the one I met in Graham. You returned my chalice. Pot's chalice, right? That's right, I remember you. I run the blacksmith's shop just south of here. You should come by sometime. I've been told I'm just as good as a dwarven blacksmith, huh? What brings you to the frigid colds of my northern home? Perhaps you could help us. Anything, what do you need, Potts? Gavin, my friend, and I... Uh, Gavin, my friend and I must make our way through the Pass of Ubar Gel and onto Garamal. Can you help us? Garamal, to my knowledge, the only way to get there is via Ubar Jal. Hold on a moment, I might know someone who could assist you. Really? Who? A miner who lives behind my house. His name is Zeros and he knows the riches and mines beyond Astral better than anyone. Thank you, Master Gavin. We'll surely seek out this miner known as Zeros. Anytime, you always have a friend in me. That said, I'm leaving Astral for a while in hopes of finding some new materials. I heard tell that there are foreigners abound, a newly encountered race of people whose delegates just recently c come to Tenot. The Matarains. I think they are called. I think they are called. With any luck, I'll have some new wear soon. Good luck, my friends. I'm sure we'll meet again. Let's find this Daros and get a move on. With the path of Uber Jaw closed, my business has taken a beating. Excuse me, sir, are you Daros? Yes, that's me. What do you want? My name is Pat Sells, and this is Griswold Stormprey. We are ambassadors from Greyhem to Frosthammer, and we, and we need to get through Ubor Jal. In that case, you can simply inform the Silver Watchman of your identity. They will allow you passage. Eh, normally, yes, that would be the case. However, we are, on a secret, we are on a secret mission, and so must keep our identities concealed. I'm afraid I'm not quite following. What exactly is it that I can do for you? Alright, listen closely, and I will share with you our secret. But you must swear not to reveal what I'm about to tell you. The forces at work here will profit greatly if Astral's economy fails. I'm here to see to it that this does not happen. You not want to see this town and this economy fail, do you? Of course not. Please, how can I help you? You must have access to an alternate route to the passage of Ubor Jal. Do you know of such a way? Yes, in fact I do. There's a hidden path to the east of Astral. It's about half a day's journey, but I'll take you to Frosthammer. Please help the city, ambassadors. We need the minerals here to support trade within the city. Here, take these snow charts. They will help guide you up the mountain path. So, you've been very helpful, Daryl. I've informed the king of your cooperation in this matter. I'm sure you'll be rewarded. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Griswold, you gonna comment on that? Gonna comment on that con job? Plus, I'm not sure I wholly approve of your methods. Social engineering is better than stealing, no? I suppose. Come, let's not waste no more time. The path to Uber Jal await, uh, awaits. Oh, wow. We... Wait. What? Oh shoot, I hope I didn't put anything too valuable on the other two. I was hoping I could complete Potts' story and then have him reunite with everyone, but no, it's a simultaneous thing. Still got Traveler's Cloak. Phase Grove. Oh my, so this is Phase Grove. Uh, Grove, how salubrious. The Fae are not docile creatures, and judging by Hero's notes, it would be wise to remain on their guard. I'm not afraid of it, some puny fairies. Brugger, not all Fae are fairies. The Fae known as Ragewalkers and... There are Fae known as Ragewalkers, and they are formidable. It's true, the Fae are mystical creatures. Any encounter with them will, should not be taken lightly. A lot of stuff hidden behind trees, huh? Sorry, a book here. Olgar's tonic. Okay, what else am I looking for? down here. Hmm. 
Damascus Shield. Cave here, but should I go in yet? Mega Elixir. Normal Elixir. Two paps, let's try the cave. Usually the normal looking path is the one I need to take, right? Enchanted Veil. Protect from silence by default. Ah. One way to go, and it seems that we can get to higher ground from here. Any traps? Damascus scale mail. Yeah, I'm not gonna. There's always a chance I'll roll a one. I got lucky that time, just barely enough. more. Amethyst. Okay, but there's also a south path I, I want to check out. Don't know if this will... Okay, this is just a dead end of treasure. Good. My favorite kinds of dead ends. Then we go north. Two again. Cutting it close here. Face Veil. The heck is up there? It's a really big cave network all of a sudden. Two exits. I'm gonna save in case it's some kind of trap. Damascus Lance. Try northeast first. Celestium. Okay, and a save point. Should really stop buying normal gear if I'm just gonna find multiple copies in the wild anyways, huh? Got some kind of fire item. What the heck is that? Your cute sense knows a trap already. 
Well, I'm just barely cutting it again. The Rage Walker! That's no fairy! What? It has some kind of buff on it! What am I supposed to do about that? I can't even tell what buff it is. Pulsar Space Magic. Essence of Fur. All that just for a thousand damage. Is it worth it? I also have them in space mode, but all of them are high cost as well. Wind! Was that damage? Was I taking reflected damage or something? <laughs> Sleep with Traveler's Cloak for in case we switch back to pots. Do you have anything super useful to equip? Not really. I don't think. Uh, hopefully, I can win without using Speaker's Robe on the Yard guy. Steel Life. Da deal Which one is the most efficient? That's the question. Fe feeling black hole would not work on a type of enemy like you, so dark matter it is. Snare? What does effect the inflict? Throws him solid. Oh crap. Crush. Gotta leave that one behind for pots as well. Actually, you know what? You go ahead and just go with the swamp hat for now. Pots is gonna need the other one more than you. You can keep the sigil of all for end. What? Okay, Fury got some points back. Or not. No, just her, her MP has not gone up. See, he's doing something that- I think he might be reflecting part of my fi the damage from my physical attacks. Yeah, he is. Hmm. 
Where are you weak to? Gun. Gotcha. Take that, you wicked tree beast. Behold, the center of the grove is a Sora of Endomas. And who's that be uh, right there? Hero. While well, I live in brief, why Baranadin? Hero, we've come in search of you. Why were you standing right behind that boss anyways? My friend, we stand in the presence of royalty. Allow me to introduce you. I resent Queen Vassus, mother of the Fae. Swamp King. Who is this that saw fit to trespass in my realm? Queen Vassus, forgive our intrusion. We are the children of light. Children, those who preceded you came to me too. Those warriors who said they were of light. The elven twins, Lennell and Amon Quell, foretold your coming, children. You knew Arthur Graham and the warriors of light? History and legend tell not of my part, for it was one the, of the utmost secrecy. Ask, ask yourself, why was the Validian bloodlust for elves so impassioned during the reign of Grindelwald Maltor? Lord Maltor wanted to destroy the elves out of spite for the reverence of the gods. Fool, humans never cease to amaze. Your misinterpretation of those crucial events which transpired a millennium ago is why you now wander aimlessly instead of fulfilling the very purpose of your existence. Yet your ignorance is based upon a conveniently placed lie. What lie? By whom? By none other than Arthur Graham, of course. What'd he do? What do you mean? Upon Arthur Graham's arrival in Porthole, he was under direct orders by Adremelech, the so-called first man, to find and retrieve the... Our gem of Valnir. He was there to steal the celestial object from the elves whom he used it to travel through time and space. The device, it was said, could even be used to commune with the gods. I believe my father spoke of such a device, but I thought it was just a tale of legend. The Dark Lord's true purpose was to resurrect the god of terror, Malviticus, and to do so using Grindelwald's keystone along with the uh, uh, power of the Hour Gem. Upon the uh, uh, hour of their exile from Porthole, the elven twins absconded from the spire of higher being with the hour gem. It was then that they brought it to me, and I have kept it safe all this time. Until now. That makes so much sense. The history books retain huge gaps of missing information about the period due to the war, especially that which would detail much of the origins of the Warriors of Light, as well as their journey from Solstice to what would later be known as Eldrafen. That's why I'm here, children of light. The hour gem of Valnir has been stolen. The shallow hollow stirs restlessly as the wizard has returned. It was he who stole the Hour Gem. The wizard, Zachariel, the Lord of Sorcery, he has once again taken up his domain within the Hollow, a Shadow Hollow. Both he and his new apprentice, a powerful human wizard who bears a strange pink arm. What? A pink arm? He couldn't mean. He isn't. Did he? F is he doing this out of revenge against Potts? That sounds like someone we know. Our friend Virgil. Run or not, I will retrieve the Hour Gem of Valnir and return it to the Fae, and none shall stop me. Join us, hero. Together we will triumph over this lord of evil, Zachariel. Just like old time, son. Indeed, old friend. Farewell, children of light. I shall- I will wait your safe return. <laughs> Pierce Daros is correct about the location of this hidden path. It also appears that our dwarves guarding the pass ahead. If they catch us, they may kill us, or if we're lucky, they will simply escort us back down the mountain. We, we, don't, we don't get caught. This is just like in- <sighs> In that other area. Every time we get caught, we probably get bumped back to the start, right? Who should equip what here? I have no clue. Try to take off all the really good stuff. From the other party. Okay. How fast are these guys, and what is their line of sight? You really should explain this kind of stuff before, whenever you dumb it into a stealth map, since their, their line of sight is not always the same. Hmm. Will they actually kill me if I catch me again? I'm just gonna save right here. Save in the most convenient spots and keep going. There!
Too bad we can't copy that. Oh, come on, man. Okay, that uh, east is no good, so let's keep going this way and hope for the best. Grizzle, if I need to ask you, how's Virgil? Master Mephos' skill in magic has improved at an alarmingly fast rate. He has far surpassed his peers and with some seeming relative ease. However, he left Sorbithia some time ago. Yeah, he's with Zacharail now. He left Sorbithia to go where? Lady Zale Farina suggested he take the trials to become a circle of 12 council member. He'll most, most certainly pass. As his skill with magic far exceeds most who have encountered endured the trials, albeit he is far younger than any who have done so before. And so, with the council's blessing, he left on the pilgrimage. Good for him. I'm glad he's finally found his place after his tragic loss. His loss? What do you mean? Or I'm forgetting anything. It's um, not my place to say. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure he's out to get revenge on you. <sighs> okay, let's just look for items. Saber skin tunic. Oh, there's one over there. Nerd Damascus sword. Tan cap. Yeah, charm bracelet should protect me from whatever is in store for me up here. Peak of Garamal. Oh, we do get a book, but we don't get to access the party's equipment. A shame. The Peak of Garamal is just ahead. Thank you for getting me this far, Griswold, but this is something I must do alone. I understand. I'll wait for you here. Yeah, I'll hope for the best. Or maybe I should, maybe I should go see if there are any interesting enemies up here. I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be old news since it's, which there's only two of us to begin with. Okay, hope I'm prepared this time. I pushed him up a level just for the hell of it. A blue flower, the symbol of Tim Talesia, could be. Time to fight the doppelganger. Mephos residence. Wait, where's the... Where's the little girl? And where's Virgil? You don't want to go in there yet. Hello, Pots. Elenia, don't you have a wor world to save? You always return here. Look what I've done. You're Virgil's family, and now you. You don't have to blame yourself for everything. If only we're stronger, I could have protected you. Why? Why did it have to be you? When I came along on this journey with you, I knew the risk. But I also knew the importance of what we were fighting for. How can I go on without you? How can I look Atreus in the eye again? How can I show my face to Virgil? Think of all the people that we helped along the way. We have accomplished so much already. If you're going to run away now, how can your friends go on? Even without me, there are good people left in the world, and they need you. Kalos, Bruger, Elric, they need your help. Atreus needs your help, Pots. They cannot do this without you. Eldrimus knew where to truly hurt you, Pots, but if you give in now, if you give up on your quest, he and the Goth will win. But how? How can I go on? Let... Let go, my love. I'll be here waiting for you, but for now, you must let go. I love you from the beyond this world, but now you must let go. And then Virgil, who is siding with Zacharail. It's been a while, Potts. Virgil, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? There are no words I can say which express my regret. What I did has torn me apart. I expect that this is the part where I'm supposed to forgive you. I'm sorry. You should really be apologizing to the people you left behind. They're out there fighting for this world right now. I know that words cannot bring them back Vera and my family. But they died for a reason. They died so that we could be assembled to rid this world of evil once and for all. They all died for the greater good of their world. Or either you're not the real Virgil. The real Virgil is probably on a revenge quest. I could have walked away. People do things that they regret, but you cannot live, uh, live for that guilt. Or life will pass you by. Go, Potts. Return to your friends or they will perish as well. They need you now. But I... Seriously, Atreus is like you, but weaker in every way possible. Pots, you must let go. Who's that? Is that Vandar? Where do you think you're going? I'm finally letting go. Get out of my way. What could you what would you be without me? I would be in Sorbithia with my father or an orgot of Lanian Atreus. Ever since I learned that you exist inside me, my life has been in chaos. 
I have made you strong. I have allowed you to endure. And now you would rid yourself of me. You have blinded me, tainted me. Lainey made me strong. Atreus made me strong. The Children of Light made me strong. You have nothing. You've done nothing but torment me. Is that might be it's black art in disguise? Without me, you would have died when your father killed your mother. Without me, you would have killed yourself countless times over. It was only I that allowed you to endure. It was only I who gave you the strength to carry on. Or maybe this is Shadow Potts disguising himself as Vandar. You have kept me in this hell for too long. Not far too long. I should rid myself of your evil. I will finally let go. You're nothing without me. Enough, Vandar. I'm through with you. We end this here and now, once and for all. You're damn right we do. Shadow Pots. Weathered Lever. Dark Weathered Lever that raises Reflex by quite a bit. Wow. Maybe I should stack more Evasion stuff to take advantage of this. Also... Let's put on Quick Shoes. Too bad, I'm immune. I knew he, Yeah, Potts already has status effect type attacks by default, so I knew he was going to have that stuff. And dead. How you cannot defeat the Sly One? I know there's a light within me still. I carry on without you. You have lost, Sly One. Plague me no longer. It's done. But why did his why did Potts' dark side take the form of the Sly One? Laney, I knew you could do it, Potts. Maybe it's a representation of the burden he has of being Vandar's reincarnation. Yes, that could be another interpretation. How are you here? I don't have a lot of time, my love. You must hurry to Arad Munlo. Your friends are there and they need you now. So that is the real Lainey. She's, uh, otherwise, she, would, she wouldn't be telling me things that uh, 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 that I don't know. Arad Munlo's on the other side of the continent. I'll never make it there in time. Oh, Potts, believe in yourself. I know you'll find a way. Just use your enormously high speed stat. I must go now, my love. Lainey, I miss you so much. We'll see each other again one day. Until then, I'll be waiting. Don't go. I will always love you, Potts Talos. And I'm bumped back to here. Oh, shoot. Oh, good. I still have the Traveler's Cloak. But I still have a lot of other nice stuff on Potts right now, so that could be an issue. Hey! Oh shoot, was I not supposed to grab that? Oh crap. My bad. Have you found the Hour Gem of Valnir? Was that just a joke? Also, what the heck is with this place anyways? What's with that cave? Is it a place to rest? Oh, it's just a something for later, but let's go south and unequip Potts' party. Thanks for watching this Let's Play of the Great Gaias. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit that bell icon.